Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today, I will be reviewing the Petite Crown Catcher Cover. This is a sponsored video, so I just want to say thank you so much to Mary for this opportunity. And with all of this said, this video will operate just like every other review video on my channel. When it comes to sponsorships, I will only take on collaborations where I can be honest and give my own opinions. Everything that I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions. So today I'll go over the features, how I use this diaper, and then my honest opinion will be at the end. So let's get started. Petite Crown has two different one size covers. This is the bigger of the two. It's called the Catcher Cover. It's advertised to fit from 10 to 40 pounds. The outside of the cover is made with the TPU material. It has two rows of snaps, with two snaps on each tab, one for the waist and one for the legs. But these two rows of snaps are staggered, so if you look closely, the bottom row is not lined up perfectly with the top row of snaps. We call this a staggered snap placement, and I find that this type of placement is great for babies with wider thighs. This diaper has tight leg elastics. There's a double gusset in the legs, this diaper has a 3x4 rise setting, which makes this diaper really, really roomy with plenty of space to grow. When you open the cover up, there are no inner flaps. But what you will see are exposed snaps on the inside of the cover and these snaps are reinforced with a polyester material. I use this cover with flats and prefolds. Flats are my go-to absorbency of choice. Flats are my favorite, and if you scroll around my channel, you'll see me talk about flats a lot. I just really love flats. I mainly pad fold my flats and prefolds, so I just take a prefold, pad fold it, and lay it into the cover. I really like the fit of all of my petite crown diapers. When getting this diaper, I knew that it was going to be on the bigger side. I also knew that I was getting a roomy diaper, and this diaper is definitely roomy. And honestly, it's baggier than I need. And it's baggier than I'd like a cover to be. There's a lot of extra fabric in the back, and I don't personally need all of that space. However, the extra fabric would be great for fitted diapers and bulky nighttime solutions. As always, I love double leg gussets on covers. I like the snap placement on the tabs, and I also like the staggered rows of waist snaps. I do find these elastics to be tight, and I think tight elastics are both a pro and a con. I think the staggered rows of snaps really helps with the legs not being too tight, but Again, I think tight elastics can both be a pro and a con, depending on your baby's body shape and depending on what you're looking for in a cover. When it comes to diaper covers, I really like diapers with the inner flaps to hold pad folded flats and prefolds into place. I will say though, inner flaps start to become annoying when you have to spray the flaps off, so I'm kind of glad that I don't have to spray flaps on this diaper. With that said, I still prefer diaper covers with at least a front flap. When I got this diaper, I knew that I didn't have inner flaps. Over the years, I've just come accustomed to really liking inner flaps. I know some people don't like inner flaps at all. Some people love them, some people feel neutral about them. I will say that the one thing that I don't like is the placement of the tag being on the inside front of the diaper. I've been trying to think of a place I'd rather see this tag, and my solution is maybe putting it on the outside of the diaper. So putting this tag alongside the petite crown label on the outside of the diaper, I think that might be a good solution for this. The customer service and community surrounding this brand are absolutely amazing. The community is so kind and loving. 
I see you ladies, I see you on Facebook, I see you guys on Instagram, and you guys are truly awesome. The owner, Mary, is so sweet, and you can really see the love and effort she pours into her community. She's really built a warm and loving place. Having a good community can really make or break your experience. And it can make or break a brand. <laughs> Every brand has their own little sub community and I really enjoy the Petite Crown community. Petite Crown does a buy one, give one program. So for every diaper that you buy from Petite Crown, she donates one to Jake's Diapers. Mary is using her business to help diaper other babies in need and I truly think that's amazing. Overall, I enjoy the quality of the diaper and I enjoy the fit. I like that there's a four step rise instead of the standard three step rise. I love what she's doing with her buy one give one program, but I do prefer covers with at least a front flap. And this cover is a bit baggier than what I need unless I use it for nighttime, and right now I'm not currently using covers for nighttime. I love double gussets on all of my covers, and I really like all of the snaps on this diaper. I like the two rows of snaps and how they're staggered, I like the two snaps on the tabs, and if there's one thing that I had to change about this diaper, I would definitely move the tag that's on the inside of the diaper and put it somewhere on the outside of the diaper. Petite Crown is offering this community a 10% off coupon code. Use code JaysNest10 for 10% off your order. This code never expires, but it is a one-time use only, so you can only use it one time. This code cannot be combined with any other offers. I hope you guys found this video helpful today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.